welcome back to another episode of Street Smart TV. Hey, bros and brosettas! I hope you had an like awesome no week full of transport safety and red games of hide and seek and stuff. If you haven't liked our face on page book yet, I mean our book and page face yet. Man, our face on book page yet? Oh, whatever. Here it is. Oh, it's it's here? <laughs> so today we're gonna talk about some truly awesome stuff. If you guys have a helmet at home like this one, now would be the time to wear it because this show's about to blow your mind, man! <laughs> Infant car seats, dude! Along with my child here, Teddy Roosevelt Vaynerchuk. Teddy, say hi. Hi, Teddy. <laughs> He's so smart. Well, today we're going to go through some incredibly important things, especially for you older siblings out there and parents, just like me, to stuff toy animals and even maybe actual babies and stuff. So, before we go any further, I'd like to welcome our guest star today, our expert guest star. Ta-da! <laughs> Hello there, thank you so much for coming, bro. Would you like to tell the audience what your name is? Marillion. Mm, well, that's a really nice name. But do you mind if I call you like bro or dude or sometimes man? It's okay. It's fine. Cool, man. So, well, today, dude over here is going to talk to us about infant car seats. Oh, I'm so excited. So, Malin, can you tell my audience exactly how many different car seats are alive today? So basically, there's the infant carrier, which starts from newborn up to approximately one year. Then there is the forward-facing and the rear-facing car seats, which they start, basically, there's the rear-facing, which you can use it from newborn up to four years. And then there's the front-facing, which starts from nine months up to four years. And then you have the high-back boosters, which starts from nine months up to 12 years and the booster seat, which starts from approximately like three to four years up to 12 years of age. Cool, bro. I told you you were gonna need a helmet, bro. <laughs> so like, which one of these seats would you suggest for Teddy Roosevelt Vaynerchuk? Well, it's the rear facing, which is start from newborn up to four years. Okay, so let's bring one in, dude. Ah, oh, that's a cool seat, man. So, let's apple meringue to the motor vehicle over there. So, tell me, Marilyn, where should we secure the baby seat? Is it A, the roof, B, use a pink ribbon to tie it to the back bumper over here, or C, in the back seat? Which one is it, bro? the back seat cool, for sure man yeah for sure you're good dude i mean i knew she was smart but i didn't think she was this incredible man <laughs> so expert lady dude how should we secure the seat into the car and can the car be moving while doing this of course not the car has to be switched off oh. on the handbrake and then you will do it <laughs> okay and, and and how do we secure it inside so basically what you have to do is you have to recline the car seat. You put it rear facing. You, you take out the whole seat belt. And basically you just put it through under, under the car seat. There, there are like two gaps. You just pass the seat belt of the upper body through the gaps and you attach it to the seat belt. The other one will just keep the car seat for not moving. You check that it's secured, the, the seat belt, you see that the car seat doesn't move and for that you're covered. The important thing it is that every month you remove again the car seat and you reattach it again for more safety. That looks really complicated, bro. So moms and dads, the first thing you gotta do when you buy a baby seat is ask the assistant how in the name of vegan lasagna you're gonna secure it to your car. Now, 
Another thing, Marilyn, uh, I see that you've placed the car seat facing the back of the car. Now, I have a feeling that Teddy's not going to be happy with this arrangement. So, uh, why would you do something like that? Well, basically, it's more safe in case of um, there's an accident. And it's covering more, the, especially because of the spine of the back. As you know, it's more fragile for children. So, if there's an accident, it helps them to, co to cover for their backs. So yeah man, uh, I was gonna use another car seat, you see the car seat right, just there, right there, that's it, um, that belonged to my friend's friend's auntie's cousin's brother, you see, they just moved here from Windsor, Canada, and uh, that's just right across the river from Detroit, where Eminem used to live, so I'm like thinking, if I place Teddy long enough in that car seat, he'll become a famous rapper too, so now that I have two car seats, I'm thinking I can use the one you gave me on days that begin with a T, like Tuesday and Tadpole Day, and on all the other days, I'll use Eminem's car seat, basically the one that my friend's friend's auntie's cousin's brother-in-law gave me. Huh? What do you think? No. But what if? But what if the seat was like used by Eminem? Like his his actual bum was on that seat. Maybe he even pooped himself once there, man. No, because you don't know the history of the car seat and what it, the car seat have been through. Wow, you're harsh, man, but you're the expert, dude, so tell me, what else can I do or put in my car to make Teddy even more safe? Well, there's the baby on board sign. Well, can I see that? Of course. Oh, cool, man. Well, would it be okay if mine says Teddy on board? You see, I don't like babies all that much. My mom tells me, like, when I was young, she used to give me strawberries, and I was, like, gassy for three days straight, man. They were so loud. So, like, yeah, is it against the law if I put one of these that says Teddy on board instead? Of course it is against the law. How can people know that it's a child on board, not a Teddy on board? So, um... Any other thingamajigs you can think of to make uh, Teddy as safe as possible, bro? There's the chest pads, so when they're wearing the harness, it won't hurt their chest. And there's even the kick mats, so when they're sitting, especially front facing, and their feet, will, they start wobbling their feet, they won't damage your car seat. Well, that's pretty snazzmatazz, isn't it, Teddy, huh? Uh, as snazzmatazz as it could be, Miss uh, Mama Jazzy Jazz. <laughs> well, Marilyn, before we say our fairest goodbyes to our lovely audience over there, is there anything you would like to add or say or maybe say hi to some friends at home? I would like to thank you. Cool, man, and I'd like to thank you too. Thanks, guys. See you later, dude.